look at some of the Gibson Memphis models. Now the Memphis factory is geared up to do our, our semi-acoustic uh, range. So some new things and some twists and some old classics. So we've got a 175 here in Ebony with a Bixby and P94s, which are a, a, like a P90 in a humbucker size casing. So that's a new one for this year. Uh, ES390 in uh, Ebony finish and also the figured version. So this is full hollow construction, hence the, uh, the tailpiece there and the stock bar. So fully hollow, extremely light, many humbuckers small body, so uh, a lot of people love the big ES335 style guitar but just can't get on with the size of it, so a few years back we came out with the, uh, the smaller, the tape of these. 59 ES330, again fully hollow, P90s, uh, it's a little bit shorter neck joint as well, so it feels a little bit more compact, that has been uh, one of the, the, the most sort of talked about models we've done in the last couple of years. Uh, Brand new out, the first time I've sort of shown these off over here, is the new Chris Cornell signature models. Uh, available in two versions, you see the one here in olive green with the Bixby, and it's got our Lollatron amazing sounding electronics pickups in that one. And then also in the Assassin Black, which comes with a, uh, with a stop bar and a tunematic bridge as well. Very limited production. Um, not exactly sure of the numbers yet, but I don't think they're going to hang around too long. 63 block inlay, uh, 50th anniversary, so um, this is, again, an amazing job on the on the colour of this one. It looks like an, a lovely old well cared for original guitar. The, sort of the new binding that the, the Memphis guys are using there. Historic 175s, again, um, you pick it up and it feels like a lovely Lady guitar straight out of the box. Here's 295. Um, I mean, that guitar's from the birth of rock and roll, that one, so famously played by uh, Scotty Moore, the oldest guitarist. ES335 12 string. Uh, features a coil tap as well, so sometimes people might think that their humbuckers are a little bit money for a 12 string, so split them down to a single coil. Um, some of the guys have been using that for demos uh, on the stage in the last couple of days. That, that sounds fantastic. ES335 bass is a new one, available in uh, Cherry Vintage Sunburst, and there's also a slightly less expensive version in Ebony without the binding. So this is uh, very new, 34 inch scale length. It, um, it's uh, been quite cool. And then a couple of limited pieces here, some one off, some. An, we're hitting the solid bodies for the, uh, the custom shop now, so scanning around, we've got uh, a good representation of our historic range going from uh, like the 56 with an age finish there. I'm going to show the lacquer checking and uh, a little bit of that going on, so a fraction of the price of an original 56 of custom. Uh, 54s, 57s, and for 2013, the custom shop have introduced some new things like an update to the gold top colour high glue neck joints, uh, new custom bucket pickups. So these guitars have been tweaked a little bit more and you know, I think the best the best thing uh, we've done in, in a long time, uh, you know, closer to historic than every, every step they take. So you've got 59, 58, and then uh, getting further around, the, uh, the always popular Les Paul Custom. You can't go show without having one of those. And uh, some cool limited run firebirds as well. So some exciting product from, from Gibson Custom and Gibson Memphis.